you talk about Apollo, there's always one question that comes back. How come we sent men to the moon in the 60s with slide rules and haven't done it since now that we have supercomputers? Well, there is one quite straightforward answer, and that is the cost. Sending 12 men to the moon cost in excess of 230 billion of today's dollars. Back then, the United States decided to spend that kind of money but it was in a very special set of circumstances. Back in the day during a meeting, Neil Armstrong explained what he thought had happened at the time. And Jerry Griffin remembers. You know, he didn't have much to say, but when he spoke, you better listen. And he got up on a blackboard and he drew some curves that were out of phase. He, they were humped like this. And he labeled one was threat, one was leadership, bold leadership, he called it, resources and public support. And he said, what happened in the 60s is that for the first time in many moons, since World War II, he said, all of those came together and lined up. And at the same time, we had to threat. We had a balanced budget, by the way, in, in the 60s. Uh, we had some bold leadership that decided to take the step, and we had the public support. So he said, this was Neil's point. Had it not been Apollo, it would have been something else. Today, Donald Trump wants to bring back all the hype and excitement of space exploration. To do so, he's asked NASA to send a woman and a man back to the moon by 2024. Problem is, to do so, he needs to find $30 billion. So now, it's up to him, his team, and NASA to convince Congress that it is a worthwhile investment.